Okay, I want to try to explain uh, the system of law that we are living in. The system of law of codes, statutes, regulations. Um, there's also other names um, for this system. Um, it all comes about and through the Social Security card. It's the law of the sea. It's the law of commerce where we have a monetary value. Um, whenever we sign our name to the Social Security card, uh, in essence, the Social Security card is a contract where we enter into um, the jurisdiction. We enter into contract with the banks and the corporations or Babylon in the last days. Um, it's not that hard to figure out. Um, we were born, this, this country was founded on common law and the Constitution. We had liberty from ties of any other system, including commerce and international banking. Um, you know, just to put it generally. Um, the Constitution is under common law. Right now, we operate under uh, uniform commercial code. It's no longer common law. Uh, so when we enter into this jurisdiction of uniform commercial code, which is the law system of America right now, because it's all under the social security card. The social security card is a contract. Now how it works is when America became bankrupt in 1933, we had no collateral to continue borrowing from the international bankers. We were bankrupt to the international bankers. We had nothing for collateral, no gold. They took all our gold from 1913 to 1933. They took it all because we were borrowing from them and they demanded real payment, which was real uh, money in gold and silver. It had value. So what happened in 1933 when we ran out of collateral, we ran out of of assets, America ended up bankrupt. What we started to do is we started to um, throw our children into the fire of debt. Since we had no gold, we threw our children in there. That means that our children are now responsible with their labors to pay back the borrowing the loans that we took out, that America took out from the Federal Reserve International Banking System. So instead of gold, we threw our children in there. And then our children generate income, generate value because they're a slave. What happened was there was a birth certificate issued on our children. This birth certificate created an image. It's a lie. Whenever you sign to the image, which is your name in capital letters, it's not you, it's an image of you. Whenever you sign your name to it, you are now entering into the land of images. You are now entering into international banking, international commerce, the law of the sea. You're leaving the law of the land. You're now a foreigner to the law of the land. You're not living on the law of the land. You're living on paper. Because when you're born, there is, you enter onto paper. You are naturalized into the United States corporation. That's what the 14th Amendment. You would think that naturalized means that you were literally just born in 
in the United States on the land. But the United States they're talking about is the image of the United States. It's a corporation. It's not the real United States. That's why it's the land of the graven image. Because it's all images. It's all thought up schemes of man, inventions. Ecclesiastes 7.29. God made man upright, but they followed after many schemes. In other words, gold keeps us within our means. That means that when you run out of gold, you wait till you get more gold and you spend the gold that you have. But what America did is when we ran out, we hired a goldsmith to make it into a god. Fake money. We hired the goldsmith to make an image and idols. The image of the beast. It's so easy to figure out, people. If you are in government, you are in contract with Babylon through your social security card. If you have a job at a corporation, if you have any job where anybody pays federal income tax, you are in the jurisdiction of the law of the sea. You are not operating under the law of the land. You left it through your ignorance. You left it. I tried to explain this to Ed Brown, uh, Onslow County Sheriff, but he couldn't grasp it. It's, it's not that hard. People don't even know what the Social Security card is. You are giving up your rights and you're accepting privileges. You didn't know that, did you? That's why it's a fraud. Because you were not told that. They did not tell you the truth. So if you want to abide by the law of the land, then you have to stop contracting with the social security card. And there is no law that says you have to sign a social security card. There's no law. There's no law that says you have to have a birth certificate. If, if you think that you can find a law, then let me know. But there is no law that says that you have to enter into commerce with the international bankers through your social security card. So if you want to obey the law of the land, then you cannot be um, contracting with your social security card. You can contract, but it's when you, actually you can contract. But when you take away the rights of those who don't contract, then you are in error and you are sinning. You are basically, because of your bankruptcy and your bankrupted way of thinking and your ignorance, you try to force somebody into a contract by usurping your authority and your ideas on a free man who is not contracting, then that's when you are in error but bankrupted people have a hard time understanding anything. So, you know, that's what the social security card is. It's an instrument of bankruptcy and you are bankrupted if you sign it because now you're responsible for the debt of the United States.